Welcome back, you guys. Today on Guy Morgana, I'm going to show you how you can go about using a reference to learn the third method for your character designs or just learning proportions in general. Okay, so the people on TikTok keep saying that they find this method quite useful, and I'm going to show you today on how I would go about breaking down a reference. So, as you can see here, I got a reference on the left. This is a pack called Gunman or something from Graffiti Studio. So, yeah, I'm just going to start off with the third so you see how i've split it up into thirds already on the left so that means from the head to the sternum roughly from the sternum to the upper mid thigh from the mid thigh to the top of the foot and then just a little bit of an extra little bit for the foot okay so what i'm going to do here is you can see that there's a slight tilt to his shoulders i'm just going to draw, draw that in you can also see the side plane that means there's a left vanishing point on this rib cage, and it kind of goes towards the center so there's a left vanishing point the primary vanishing point in this piece next i'm gonna add a cylinder and an oval and his hips are kind of tilting downwards and more to the right so i've done that too too far facing to the left i'm just gonna fix that real quickly they are still tilting downwards though and it doesn't have to be perfect this is just good practice is just finding your proportions so the mid thigh i know would be there yeah because of the reference which means i've made the hips a little bit too long i'm gonna bring them down a little bit i'm gonna add in my shoulder here just with a cylinder Rub that out because it's a bit, bit off because this uh, edge spray there is an indication. Keep in mind your perspective, the head is tilting downwards though, so it's kind of going off the perspective grid. But I can just add in a block shape for this, shape it like a skull, kind of. So, this is kind of how I'd go about learning something from this reference. So the arm, see the bottom plane of this, I believe, which means the underneath of the cylinder. Not perfect, but we're not aiming for perfection. We're just aiming for a nice loose sketch where you can learn from this pose. So you can see I've started to draw that wrongly. It comes out away from the body here in this cylinder. just blocking a, a square for the hand now we start to draw the leg but this is just a good way to learn from a reference I do this for a living and I still make mistakes every single time I draw a pose so it's important to understand that mistakes are just part of the process and you can always fix them with digital very easily just make sure you're flipping your canvas or paying close attention to your landmarks such as the shoulders, hips, ankles and feet. Okay. Is reference number one done? roughly i'm not going to draw in the guns or anything that's just to give you like a rough idea of how you can use the third method to break down your poses so this keeps everything in proportion while retaining form and dimensionality to the structure of the human anatomy so if you're struggling for with the simplified forms there's no way you're going to be able to do it more complicated later so what i'd now do is i just turn the opacity down make a new layer and if this was a character i would just quickly block it in like i'm not trying to be too tough on myself with this type of stuff 
sometimes it's better to be loose to begin with and then refine later on in the process as gesture can sometimes become come before form but in this case i've done the form first already anyway so now i'm going to just be quite loose and gestural with my lines i'm not being too accurate and i don't really care about that to be completely honest with you slightly put that head in the wrong place i've noticed here now towards the reference but at the end of the day this is just all all practice and you as long as you notice these things while you're drawing you're not hurting anyone it makes no it makes no difference whatsoever just try and keep your eyes open for mistakes as you go and slowly fix them as you go throughout your process this waistcoat kind of tapers like this Chop, boop, chop, boop, like so. Important to make the sound effect as well if you don't. Very important, most important part. Okay. If you struggle with clothing, I suggest you do a, a quick run through of right so if you struggle with clothing i highly suggest this book morpho clothing and folds by michael lucet michelle lucera Luce i can't say that last name i'm sorry i'm butchering it laurie seller my michelle laurie seller or michael laurie seller I probably need to do a bit more practice on this exact subject to be completely honest with you it'll help my character designs too however if you're struggling look up that reference do what i'm doing right now break down the shapes and it will you will retain it you will retain it 100 you'll retain this information in your future drawings and if you struggle with stuff like this i suggest that you just find a reference that you really really like of a character design or a character de designer's work and just try and replicate it to the best of your ability through drawing and painting that way you will really pick up stuff very quickly and i'd say do that multiple times as you're only going to learn from each new time you do something so this reference thing I'm, i've just done here i would suggest you do this multiple times yourself as you're going to learn more from it. And this is kind of Lincoln Reference Wednesday, which I haven't done for a couple of Wednesdays now. I've taken a little break from that because you guys don't seem to like it as much as the content I'm doing on TikTok and on my shorts. So I'm kind of just focusing on stuff that people on TikTok and on the shorts like. So you guys seem to like when I do more bigger stuff and how-to videos rather than sit and gesture draw with me which is fine if that's what you like that's that's cool i'll do some more of that the shoulder's still bothering me so i'm just gonna quickly just try and fix that right now doesn't have to be perfect though right i don't like how harsh that line is don't like that entire sleeve just gonna pull this across a little bit add in a kind of like some wrinkles like a crow's feet in the armpit because if you notice with clothing it kind of all it goes around the form so it will create pinches and stretches around the form of the body it doesn't exactly happen here in our reference, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'm just going to add what I think looks nice. That is one of the jobs as a designer and an illustrator is to decide what you want to include in the piece. All right. Okay. So now, quick tip here from... For the skull is 
I'm going to draw a C shape, another C shape, and another C shape. Here, like that. And that'll give me kind of roughly where the eye sockets are and the mouth and the nose. So now what I would do generally is I would take, I would do another layer here, but I'm not going to do that for this case. I'm just going to rub it out a little bit and I'm going to get rid of this red guideline. At this point, we don't need that anymore. Just quickly block. It doesn't have to be accurate to the reference. This is just simply from my imagination. I'm not going to look at the reference now at this point. This is where your creativity takes in and you can just kind of draw wherever you want. I'm going to elongate his chin a little bit and make his lips quite high. Just give him a little bit of a shape push. Give him a small forehead. Now I'm going to add in some eyeball. Now, if I wanted to add some light to this, I would just block it in really quick like so. And then add in my U. And then you could just add a couple of peaks for here. bit silent yet but that's okay when you're doing this type of stuff you kind of go into a zone and it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but that's what I've done for this pose and this reference and that's fine that's fine with me I don't need to go any more detailed than this if I don't want to uh, however I can bring the opacity down and do an entire another and uh, do another layer entirely just refining my personal mindset on painting, design, art, you're in a constant state of problem solving. And the faster you find these problems, the faster you fail, the better your designs will be overall. Okay, whatever. That'll do for that bit. I'm gonna quickly plot in these shoes. I'm not going to do anything fancy, and I'm not going to... The problem with transparent eraser is you can't just quickly get rid of stuff you don't want anymore. Yeah. And this one's already kind of fine. Cool. And obviously you can put as much detail into this as you want, find as much references as you want, find as many... Uh, poses as you can do this exact thing and eventually you will end up with the knowledge and the know-how to do this from imagination and even if you if you struggle with certain poses it, that's, it doesn't matter you can just look up a reference or even do a reference yourself take a reference picture ask a friend to take a reference picture of you doing certain poses and then trace over it at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want to make your art how you want it to look. Right. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to call that one there. Uh, I can see that the shoulders are too narrow. Actually, quickly fix them just to show you how, to, how I'd go about that. Jump in the liquify tool. I'll just quickly do this. The head's now been pulled a little bit. I'm going to just push that back. And I haven't done the hand. I haven't done the right hand. So I'll do that real quick too. One finger into a triangle shape like so. Into the hand like so. 
there. And then it'd be like a little lip there for the with the thumb and stuff would go with but there's a gun there but i'm not gonna do that okay yep anyway. all right thank you guys for watching this has been uh, another video showing you how you can use a reference to plot out your anatomy and practice your anatomy and your character designs if you want to see more videos like this please hit the subscribe button and like the video and leave a comment down below in the comment section let me know what you thought of it and also turn on your notification bell to be notified when I post my future videos. And I hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one.